Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video, I'm really excited to show you that how can we stack the data. We have this data set into proper columns and rows, but we would just like to have these numbers spilled across in different columns. Now, as you can see, the first row is being spilled over here and then we have the second row, which is over here. Now, this is a good question being asked by one of the subscribers. He wrote me back and he asked me he needed a solution for this. So now I'm here today with all of you and we are going to build the solution together. So let's get started. This is a very easy solution, my friend. You just need to understand certain logics. And for that, I'm just going to create the numbers over here for my rows and columns, which is over here. I'm just going to call this how many number of columns we have and how many number of rows we have over here. So we have two and we have three columns. Now, similarly, I'm going to call the rows function and columns to determine the number of rows and columns. So I'll call this as rows and I'm going to select this range. If your range extends, then accordingly the number of columns will also get increased. And then we are going to call the column function columns and then this column in this range. So we have the number of rows and number of columns available over here. Now remember when we do the multiplication of 2 multiplied by 3 we are going to get 6. So this information this range need to be spilled into 6 columns. We'll do a simple math which will be like number of rows multiplied by number of columns. So here we, we are with that result what we needed so let's build it into one cell so i'm going to say rows and this range again multiply by columns and again this range perfect so we get that result now this number we are going to call it into the sequence function to generate that sequence how many columns or how many rows it has to get spilled so number of rows comma that is the result number six and how many columns do we want nothing and we need to have a starting point from zero enter and so we have the result now zero to five that is like six rows over here and we are just simply going to call the mod function okay the mod function comma and then again how many number of columns we have so columns Again, in this range, close parentheses, that's my divisor, enter. So we got the results of 0, 1, 2. Now you must be thinking that why I'm doing like this? Because the reason I need to group them and make sure that when I pull the information, it's always like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I need to just add 1 to this. So it will solve my problem. 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Perfect. So we got now the columns over here. Let me call the index function. Let me pull this into this range, comma, and let me show you the column, how it is going to spill. So we have that 555666. So right now, just ignore this number because it is referencing it always to the first row. So that's the reason it's getting repeated again and again. So let me delete this. And let me copy this formula, what we have created over here, copy, and then again paste it over here, because this is a very important construction of the formula. And here, now we need to group them into twos, you know, so like one should be repeated three times and two should be repeated three times. Now for that, I would need to again put this function, which is columns over here, comma, again, yes. So we have this sequence which has already been generated now this sequence i'm just going to divide it with number of columns so as you can see i have got that number so remember your column number is a main number every time you are using it into the more function also columns number of columns and even for the grouping of the rows you're using it the columns now let me take the integer part of this one which is the interesting one when I take the integer, int, and close parentheses, which we have already done that, and we got that 0, 0, 1, 1. 
Now simply, we are just going to say plus one and we got that results one, two. Since we have the rows and the column numbers, now what we will do is we will call it into an index function, index over here and just select the range from where you need to pull that information comma and uh, before that i would just like to put it as uh, absolute reference putting it as f4 yes that made an absolute reference comma and the formula i'm just going to keep it not active and just keeping it like this because i need to copy this so let me put it into proper parentheses so i know that my function is working fine so cut from here and let's go and paste it exactly next to the comma paste and unwrap this so we can see that we have now that mod and another comma enter and now we will copy this function again we are going to wrap it properly into the parentheses so we don't make any mistake cut the function what we have created this formula come into this index and paste it and close parentheses now to activate it this was a trick you know so now to activate it i just put remove that space before the equal to sign and press enter now this is spilling down the rows okay so I, if i clear this content from here let's go clear all so we have this error now there's nothing to worry about it uh, because looking this function i understood that okay i have put columns into the rows and rows into columns so let me switch that and now let's paste this enter bingo so we got all that information spilled across correctly now let's simply wrap this entire function into transpose function and paste that formula enter and voila we have the values spilled across into different cells now if you go and add some more data to it you need to make sure that you amend your ranges okay so that's really important so in my next video we are going to learn this entire formula writing it into this advanced formula environment and by the way we are going to learn together whatever the challenges we are going through when we are building this formula so stay tuned my friends and I hope you have liked this video. Make sure that you hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll be seeing you soon in my next video doing some great Lambda stuff with advanced formula environment. Till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye.